I said to him, what is the character's name? And, uh, and he said, well, I don't want to tell you. And I said, why not? And he said, just read the script. It's pretty crazy and you've got to stick with it. You've really got to sort of go with it. And if you don't go with it, it's not for you. And I was like, challenge laid, man. Because that sounds like something that might be fun. Um, and then I read the script and I got through the first 10 pages and I was like, what is this? And then the next 10 pages, it was a different, what is that? And then the next 10 pages was a completely different, oh, it's this? And then the next 10 pages confounded me again. And I think that's the joy of, of what Knight does so well is that he keeps an audience on their toes, uh, trying to figure out what actually is the film going to be like, not what it's about. Because I always feel like you know what the films are about, but what kind of film are we watching? so far? Are we watching a thriller? Are we watching a chiller? Are we watching a supernatural? Are we watching a sci-fi? Are we watching a, a horror movie? Are we watching a psychological drama? Are we, what are we watching? And it's all of those things. and It's all of those things at different times, but it kind of really messes with the audience as much as it messes with the actors playing the parts because it has been nuts making this film. Playing them individually, which is a challenge sort of in itself, but also uh, playing playing them in the same shot is, is a challenge because an audience will buy you as one character, hopefully, and then you've got to go, forget that, now buy me as this next person. And to make that transition interesting and, and, and part of the ride, to make that part of the fun of the movie, but also, but not make that alienate the audience. That's been a bit of, I suppose that's my challenge, that's my job. He's very collaborative and he's very, very giving, but he has got a very specific idea of what he wants in his mind. And you know with Knight if you're getting it or not, and if you know with Knight if he's happy or not, because when he's happy, he's ecstatic and he's like a little kid. And when he doesn't feel like he's getting literally 100%, even if he's got 99% of it, perfect and beyond all expectations, he'll still be like, yeah, no, it was great. Yeah, it was really good. Um, so that sort of uh, relentless pursuit of uh, the vision that he has in his mind is quite inspiring in a, in a, in a sort of a good pressurizing kind of a way. Uh, where you really, really want to please him. Because he's got great ideas and he comes up with great stuff on the page and he's got such a great, strong uh, image in his head of what this film should be like, sound like, feel like, and look like. The audience can't identify with Hedwig, I don't think, because he's nine. They can't identify with Patricia, partly because she's not in it as much, but also partly because it's a man pretending to be a woman and there's something, there's something there that I think the audience find hard to identify with, they can sympathise with, definitely. But with him, he's the closest thing they've got to a male protagonist. And that's been the big challenge, is trying to make the audience see him as something other than just a villain. I've had a really good time with Anya Taylor-Joy and Jess Sula. Uh, Hayley Lewis has been a right laugh. And Betty Buckley as well, just a, an incredible bunch of women, um, which I was slightly scared of coming in. So it's like I'm going to be, I'm going to be properly outnumbered, you know, um, by this bunch of, by this bunch of um, incredible actresses, and they've been really gentle with me. Did you know that The Hateful Eight with three words is the longest title for a film directed by Quentin Tarantino? All the titles of his previous films only consisted of two words. For example, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Inglorious Bastards, Django Unchained or Kill Bill. What's your favorite movie directed by Tarantino? Let me know in the comments below and click here for more cool videos. Thanks for watching. See ya!